Uh, since t today is a primary day in a number of our states, I thought it might be a, a good time to take a little look back at where the Senate was a few months ago when we were confronted with the widespread Democratic big lie that in Georgia there was an effort by the Republican legislature and Republican governor <clears throat> to engage in voter suppression by passing a new voter law in the wake of the pandemic year that we all went through as a number of states adjusted their uh, manner of voting, picking up some of the things that were tried during the pandemic year and rejecting others. The Democrats almost broke the Senate over this issue came within two votes of getting rid of the filibuster over this issue. Well, early indications are we have record turnouts in Georgia. Record turnouts. The um, indications are that at least the early voting part of the new Georgia law, more people are turning out than did in the presidential primary and dramatically more have turned out than in the 2018 uh, primary, which would be apples and apples, 18 to 22. Uh, this conclusively proves so far that there's, there's no effort in Georgia to suppress the vote. This was simply an effort to try to intimidate everybody, and a lot of corporate America bought into it, and a lot of other people bought into it, and some of you may have. Um, to intimidate the Senate into federalizing the way we handle elections. It was a big lie, and the big lie is being in the process of disproven in Georgia uh, today.